Hello friends, today I came with one more interview question. Uh, tell me what are the always on enhancements we have from SQL Server 2012 to up to 22 as of now. Like uh, here uh, we have like SQL Server always on got introduced in SQL Server 2012 onwards. In 2012 we have can have only one primary uh, in the 2012. 12 4 secondary from 2014 to 2022 we can have up to 8 secondary this is one of the uh, improvement okay for all the versions coming to sql server automatic failovers from 2012 and 14 we can we, uh, we are having only two automatic failovers and remaining are synchronous mode only three replica we up to we can configure three replicas and coming to this thing 2012 uh, like uh, we can have only three automatic failovers and five synchronizers we can configure up to five replicas in synchronous mode from 2019 and 2002 we can have five automatic uh, failover replicas and five asynchronous mode replicas now coming to various futures here 2012 uh, always got introduced in 2012 coming to 2014 and the read intent was introduced and enhanced availability for read only replicas it means in 2000 from 2014 onwards the availability of secondary replicas has been enhanced to allow the workload to continue even the case of loss of the quorum also the secondary replicas are available for read purpose okay coming to 2016 we have round uh, round robin balance from 2014 redirect activity will be in the in the first list of that uh, rep secondary replica only but it will the list uh, the traffic will not be distributed from 2016 it will be uh, distributed like to uh, auto seeding is there distributed availability which is commonly called as a DAG was introduced uh, integration with azure we can configure asynchronous secondary replicas in with azure ias okay now uh, we support what DTC is there enhance log replication throughput and radio speed so when we have configured uh, replication in synchronous mode we can better log rate and even there is a fast replication the improvement has been done internally okay and we can config if the SQL server are participating in always on we can use group service manager account for that for that always on instances okay so the GMSA got introduced in SQL server 2012 and it was improved in for 2000 16 as well okay and enhanced database health detection is there for 2016 onwards always on supports tde from sql server 2016 onwards and there is one announcements in dvm dvm dmv sys dot dm underscore data replica status uh, in the in this table dmv there is one column secondary lag seconds so the column has been added so that that's the, the number of seconds the uh, it is lag behind the primary replica during the synchronization and coming to 2017 standard edition supports basic availability groups we can configure always on without clustering okay coming to 2019 ag supports for kubernetes uh, support is there from coming to 2012 uh, we can configure always on without domain as well and we can configure have, the main feature is like we have contain availability groups uh, in the chart, uh, we can say in the interview, if you don't remember, you can remember this one. In 2012, we have traditional availability groups and SQL Server 2016 distributed and basic availability groups. In 2017, clusterless availability groups. In 2022, contain availability groups. So sometimes interview will, will ask you what kind of availability groups we have uh, in various servers. So you can answer this question. So I am going to share this document in the description in the Google Drive. So you can get it from there. And if any announcements will be there, uh, okay. And in further versions, I will add those in this uh, document as well i hope you may like uh, this video your encouragement is like our boost to do more videos like this thank you bye